Hi, today I'm going to walk you through room selection. But before we get started, there are a couple of tips that you should be aware of to make this process go smoothly. First, let's talk about roommate groups. It is important that you discuss location, room type, price point, and preferences ahead of time. Secondly, have a backup plan. It is a good practice to plan ahead, have a plan in place in the event that there is not a room available to accommodate your room. Next, we also recommend that the person who has the earliest time slot also be assigned as group leader. We have a separate video available demonstrating how to transfer your group leader privileges. Group leaders must verify the group before they can assign a member to a bed. Anytime a change happens to your group, the group must be re-verified. That is, someone new joins the group or someone leaves the group. The group must be verified again. And then finally, the group leader can only assign members one time. Changes can still be made by contacting the housing office or members can swap their rooms themselves once their time slot opens. Now let's walk back into the housing portal to walk through the room selection experience. To return to your housing application, you have to log back into the housing portal. You'll be prompted to do the two-step duo authorization to get back into your application. Once you're in, you want to go back to apply for housing and here you can see active housing applications we're going to return to the highlighted green academic year and hit continue you should land at the initial building selection page and you'll just select the building that you prefer to live in in this example i'll be using University Park Apartments. Now look at the room selection page. It's important to pay attention to any notes or instructions listed on each page of the room selection process. The note here indicates if you are a group leader and plan to assign your entire group, make sure the total number of beds added to your cart matches the number of people in your group. The number of available beds in a room or suite is displayed in the room information. You can also add multiple rooms to your cart at once. So let's take a look. We're going to look at UPA Apartment 2221 Bedroom A. This is a UPA two bedroom double. That means there's two bedrooms. Each bedroom holds two beds. Space available in the suite, or in this case, apartment, is a total of four. Space available in this particular room, the A bedroom, are two. I will add this room to my cart. And save and continue. Now it's time to assign beds. You'll start with your own individual bed under my room. Select the drop down box and you'll find the two rooms we added to our cart as well as the corresponding beds in each. I will assign myself to the first bed in the A bedroom, which is A1. You'll scroll down and now it's time to assign my respective roommates. Again, you'll select the drop down box and find the remaining beds. You'll notice that the A1 bed already indicates that it's taken as this is the bed I've assigned myself to. I'm going to assign my first roommate to the second bed in that same A bedroom. 
This will be bed A2. Save and continue. Now we're on the application status and booking summary page. You'll get a note that indicates that we successfully completed all the available steps of the housing application that are currently open. You'll see assignment list of everyone in the roommate group, as well as the empty vacant bedroom. Note that this empty vacant bedroom will remain available in the room selection pool for other students to select. You'll have an option to send messages to your respective roommates. And if you need to make a change to the rooms that have been assigned, you can do so by selecting Change Room to Swap. If you decide that you are not going to live in university housing, the option to submit the cancellation request is here as well. That's it for now. You'll return to the housing portal and in the housing application to select your move-in time slots.